As hundreds of thousands remain in the dark, the PG&E power shutoffs are raising new concerns. Could violent offenders on GPS tracking devices take advantage of the outages? The scary part is of them using that to go out and re-victimize their victim or find new victims. So victims' rights groups say the fear is real tonight and they want to make sure violent sex offenders aren't lost in the dark. CBS 13's Sharon Roger is live in downtown Sacramento for us tonight getting answers on how authorities are monitoring this critical situation. Sharon? Yeah, Adrian and Tony, it's an issue that certainly a lot of people haven't even thought about when it comes to these outages, but for some, it's a terrifying thought. These GPS tracking devices need to be charged regularly, and state agencies and county departments are making sure things don't get out of control. As another round of planned power outages hits California, parts of 29 counties, and nearly 600,000 customers are left in the dark in more ways than one. Not knowing when the power will be back. So therefore not knowing whether these monitors will be able to be charged or not. Laura Valdez is a victim's rights advocate with the Yolo County DA's office. They're not only worrying about them not having electricity in their home or not having water from their well, they're also having to worry about their perpetrator not being monitored. With no electricity, Valdez is concerned about violent sex offenders not being able to charge their GPS tracking devices. If their GPS monitors are not being recharged, they have an excuse, a free ticket, to go out and re-harm their victim. The battery just simply hooks in. Supervising probation officer Clifford Foster says the device's removable batteries require a charge every 24 hours. So what do they do during critical incidents? We'll have additional officers going out and uh, checking up on our clients. California's Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation says GPS devices worn by parolees hold a charge for an extended period of time, and agents are alerted and monitor low battery status. When we do have a client that has a battery that we notice they're not charging their battery, we'll have a field officer bring batteries out to them that are charged. State and county agencies say they are monitoring offenders closely and say there is no increased safety risk. We are making every effort possible to keep in contact with all of the clients, no matter what conditions they have with their GPS. So they're either taking them batteries, telling them that they have to come into the offices to get their devices charged. But I checked in with CDCR and some of the probation offices. There haven't been any major issues yet. Of course, they're monitoring all this closely. I also asked what happens if a, a, somebody doesn't charge their device in time? Is this a violation of parole or probation? CDCR says they'll be considering all that on a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah, interesting angle to this power outage. Sure, and thanks for getting answers tonight.